Hi, I'm Heidi Barkholtz, the Huntington Woods City Clerk. We'd like to take this opportunity to share with you the changes voters will encounter with elections after the passing of Proposal 222 last November. It is an exciting time for the state of Michigan now that voters have the opportunity to vote multiple ways, making it easier than ever to be part of democracy. We encourage all of you to share this video using the hashtag Huntington Woods Votes and help us spread the word so the city of Huntington Woods can continue to be the lead in Oakland County for voter turnout. Sarah Wagner, Huntington Woods Deputy Clerk, is going to provide you with an overview of changes made with Proposal 222. Thank you. In November 2022, Michigan voters approved Proposal 222, a constitutional amendment which gives voters the right to nine days of in-person early voting before all statewide and federal elections. In partnership with many municipalities within the county, Oakland County has created 18 regional sites that will allow for early voting for all elections, beginning with November 7, 2023. Huntington Woods, along with the cities of Berkeley, Oak Park, and Pleasant Ridge, will make up regional site number one, which will be located at the Oak Park Community Center. Early voting will allow a voter to cast a ballot prior to election day during the nine-day voting period. Upon visiting your corresponding voting site and confirming your eligibility, a ballot will be issued, voted, and cast at your site. Ballot totals will not be calculated until the close of polls on election day. Early voting will be open for, from the second Saturday prior to an election through the Sunday before an election. For the upcoming November 7th election, early voting will commence on Saturday, October 28th and will end on Sunday, November 5th. The site will be open from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. each day, except on Thursday, October 2nd, when the site will be open from 12 to 8 p.m. A one-time notice was mailed to all registered voters, identifying the location and hours of early voting sites. Look for it in your mailbox shortly. Days and times will remain consistent for every election. If you've already received an absentee ballot, they cannot be dropped off at early voting sites at this time. They must be returned to your clerk's office via mail or a drop box. If you've made a mistake on your absentee ballot and you need a new one, please contact your clerk's office. For more information about early voting, please visit mi.gov slash vote, oakgov.com slash vote, or contact the Huntington Woods Clerk's Office. Absentee voting. The November 2023 election is the last election in which the permanent absentee ballot application list will be utilized in Huntington Woods. This list allowed the clerk to automatically send voters an application for an absentee ballot. With the implementation of Proposal 22-2, voters now have the right to sign one single application to automatically receive a ballot for all future elections. To join the permanent ballot list, check the permanent ballot box on your application. Otherwise, you will only receive an absentee ballot for the upcoming November 7th election. You may request a ballot application online at mi.gov slash vote or contact your clerk to have an application sent to your home. Many Huntington Woods voters have already requested to be placed on the permanent ballot list and were automatically mailed a ballot for the November 7th election. If you join the permanent ballot list but do not reside at the same address year-round, it will be imperative that you notify the clerk with your updated mailing address ahead of each election. Otherwise, your ballot will automatically be sent to the most recent mailing address on file. Requesting an absentee ballot online at michigan.gov vote for every election can serve as an alternative to being placed on the permanent ballot list, allowing you to easily note where you would like your ballot to be sent for each election. Another function of Proposal 22-2 is the right to prepaid postage on your absentee ballot applications and return ballot envelopes. This allows voters to easily return their application or ballot via the U.S. Postal Service without needing to attach postage. Ballots may also be returned to the 24-hour video monitor drop box outside of City Hall or hand placed into the drop box located in the City Hall lobby. Voting at the polls. Voters who have not utilized early voting or an absentee ballot can still vote at the polls on election day. During the November 2023 election, precincts 2, 4, and 5 will be consolidated. Voters whose polling locations are usually located in Burton Elementary School, precincts 2 and 4, will join precinct 5 at the Gillum Recreation Center. All affected voters were mailed a notice in mid-September with information about the combined precincts. Signage and election inspectors will be present on election day to direct voters. 
For the 2024 election cycle, the city will resume operating all five precincts at their normal locations. Please remember to share this video with the hashtag HuntingtonWoodsVotes. As always, if you have questions, please contact our office. And thank you for voting.